All right, I am in my Hyper-V um, host computer here, and you can see that I have several virtual machines running, and one of them is PFSense, and so I have a, a virtual router running um, on this uh, virtual machine, and then that is providing internet uh, and connectivity out to the rest of the virtual machines, and then also back to a physical network that even goes to my um, physical main desktop computer. So um, I'm going to try to show how I got all that set up with the networking and everything in Hyper-V. So the physical uh, Hyper-V host has three network cards. So it has this one that's on the motherboard and then I've added two um, PCIe cards. And then this is the one that um, Hyper-V just creates on its own. So this one is just getting a regular um, IP address just like you would expect um, it to get and then these two are assigned directly to only to be used by the virtual machine so um, they show up in network connections here but the host computer really can't see them and actually you can tell that by when you click on them and you click details it's just completely blank because the host is not using them in any way so the way that you get that is in your Hyper-V um, virtual switch manager you um, create a new virtual switch, you choose external, and you select the adapter you want it to be assigned to, and then you make sure that this is unchecked. So allow management operating to share this. No, I don't I don't want that. I don't want it to be shared by the host Hyper-V server. So that way, um, again, it just shows up as being completely blank in here. So there's no connectivity going on with it um, to, the actual, to the host machine. And so I did that for both the LAN and the WAN. And then, this WAN uh, external network is connected only to the PFSense um, virtual machine here. Let's see if I can show that. So um, external WAN, and then um, in PFSense, um, this is set to the WAN, obviously, and then it the LAN goes out to everything else. And so then these other virtual machines are connected to the external LAN and then that same uh, port also, the physical port also goes out to a physical switch. And then that physical, my com desktop computer is plugged into that physical switch. So let me pull over a diagram and see if I can make that make even a little bit more sense. So here is my cable modem that is provides internet to my whole house. And then it goes into a consumer router. And then some of that connectivity goes out to the rest of my network all my home devices, ethernet and Wi-Fi. But then one of those cables comes over here. And then this is this is the physical computer, um, desktop computer running um, Hyper-V. And so then all of this stuff right here, all these virtual machines are actually inside of here. And then there's the three physical um, network cards. And again, like I was explaining, this network card is actually used by the um, uh, Hyper-V host to get its connectivity. Um, but these two are only allowed to be seen by virtual machines, um, even though they're physical cards, um, like I just showed on the other screen, they are reserved only to, to the, um, virtual machine. So then this physical line comes out, goes into this network card that is assigned only to the PFSense VM. And then this LAN card sends a physical connection out to this switch. And then again, these other VMs go back to this virtually they go back to this card there's no physical connection for that but um, they're assigned to that card because this card actually is rep I mean both of these cards are in Hyper-V they represent switches so they're not just one port anymore um, and then actually you can see how this and how this actual Hyper-V host actually gets its internet connection is actually through this physical switch so the internet comes into the WAN but it the, the host can't even see that it's coming in there it has to go into PFSense and then out through the LAN and then over to um, the switch and then back into the physical computer and then that switch can also send it to my desktop. So um, the host and the VMs and the desktop are all on the same network. And then another thing to point out with this whole setup is this router is giving a standard 192.168 out to the network and it's giving a 192.168 um, to this WAN and so PFSense sees that as its WAN address even though that's not truly a real um, 
an internet address. Um, I think they call that double NAT because I have an external address that um, external IP address that my cable modem provides. But obviously, PFSense doesn't really care. Um, it just treats that as an internet connection, and then there's a a ten dot um, zero network that feeds out to the rest of these. And so my home network is on a one nine two dot one six eight, and the everything that's on the other side of PFSense is a ten network. And yeah, I think overall that pretty much explains it. So uh, I hope that helps. Thanks.